right, so if you guys want to know if the tractor can haul a dump trailer, the answer is yes. I actually parked the dump trailer way over near where we were doing the fire pit, and I had to weave it through all of these trees all the way around the other property to get it where it's at here. Hydraulics lifted the tongue. Eh, pretty much no sweat. I mean, this thing probably has a 650 pound or more tongue weight whenever it's empty. Uh, it gets pretty heavy pretty quick, and it's all steel, so this thing's super, super heavy overall for what it is. And yeah, it lifted it up relatively easily. The front doesn't feel light or anything. I'm maneuvering it pretty well. My biggest obstacle or challenge right now is the fact that I can't turn too sharp to the left because you can see where it's gouging into my Fort Knox locks. This thing's a bit bulky and it's actually hitting this part when I turn too sharp and you can see where it's putting a nice little gouge in that quarter inch thick steel plate. Aside from that, you know, it's working pretty well. Uh, if you guys didn't see, I got a Spico Cat 1 E-Hitch. This is super cool because it doesn't require the bushings you would normally need for a three-point. It basically drops right in here, and a lot of people question why you need bushings there in the first place. I suppose if you're moving it up and down constantly, you might, but so far it's working real good. We're gonna go ahead and finish this off, move the dump trailer back where it goes, and I have a one and seven eighths inch ball that's currently inside of the coupler right now, so I can just basically drop it right in place and uh, connect it and go, and yeah, I'm pretty impressed. It's not struggling. Definitely got to go slow. You got to watch your angles. Biggest challenge with this little hitch thing I got for it is the fact that the receiver doesn't stick off of the back, which means you got to watch your corners whenever you're turning. And I actually read that in one of the Amazon reviews before I ordered it. So I kind of knew what I was getting myself into and I knew what to pay attention to before I started towing things around. But yeah, we're going to put this thing back, get it where it goes and uh, continue on to bigger and better projects. Okay, so in front of me, you were looking at a pretty cool product and I think this was like designed by students so this is kind of innovative at the same time and you guys know me I'm a big fan of folks who engineer stuff and this certainly looks as if it was an over engineered version of something that kind of already exists but this is called an ox block it's a trailer jack block and not only is it a trailer jack block but it's an insanely robust trailer jack block I've never seen any jack block any really pad that is built to this level of uh, sturdiness I don't know what you want to call it looks like it's certainly made out of some type of a recycled material yep 100% recycled made in the USA I know a lot of folks will like that strongest trailer jack block on the market supports up to 10,000 pounds works with pad jacks, stabilizer jacks, post jacks, scissor jacks, and more. This specific one I don't believe works with like leveling systems, at least on fifth wheels. They have another one that they've either come out with or they're coming out with that does. It's got a drain hole right here and you can see how it kind of tapers into that drain hole. Bottom side of it looks pretty dang reinforced. They have probably one of the funniest YouTube videos on this thing I've seen. I'll put a link in the description so you can take a look at it. They're not paying me to review this. They actually sent me an email, said some students invented this thing, and they wanted to send me one to see what my thoughts were on it. They didn't even ask me to make a video, but I got it in the mail. Uh, the box was super heavy, so I figured, you know what? If they're willing to make something this strong, it deserves a video. And again, their video is pretty dang awesome, to be honest with you. This thing is super heavy. I mean, I'm going to guess it probably, and I'm just guessing, weighs about, I don't know, 15 pounds? It's pretty dang heavy. Anyways, we're going to use this today because, you know, there's always a concern whenever you're using anything other than wood blocks, really, on if they're going to crack, break, compress. I mean, what essentially is going to happen to them? And with something like this, I don't think you would ever really feel that concern. You hold it one time and you're like, man, this thing is super robust, super heavy. And again, I just don't know if you would ever really feel like it's going to be something you have to worry about which is important peace of mind. So that has it going for it. Anyways, we're gonna take this out to the dump trailer and put this underneath the front because that's the heaviest single jack trailer that I have out here. Um, it probably has about a 650 pound tongue whenever it's empty. So it's not super heavy right now, but we're gonna see how it looks on there. And you know, it's gonna be sitting out in the elements, exposed to UV, exposed to weight, heat, all that stuff. And uh, I'll definitely give you a longer term evaluation. But definitely want to give a, a big shout out to the folks at Ox Blocks for sending this to me. We'll see how it holds up. Okay. So we got the Ox Block out here. I'm going to put it underneath the pad. 
Well, the pad's gonna sit on the humps. It's not gonna sit inside of there. So, you know, I don't think there's really any risk of it sliding off or anything, but it does not uh, fit in the groove, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the trailer down and see what happens. Probably absolutely nothing is my guess. Well, that's what I call simple, functional, uneventful, and anticlimactic. It's holding it no problem. I do wish they made an insert on there so it was just flat. Maybe some traction bars or traction grooves to keep things from sliding on it. But right now the tongue is pretty much sitting on those little humps coming off of it. And I understand the purpose of those because most tongue jacks will kind of rest in it. But a lot of folks are installing things like snap pads or a lot of the newer travel trailers have round jack pads that touch the ground. So they're getting larger, they're getting, you know, to take up more surface area. And if you're gonna do something like this, the big improvement I could see is just make the thing flat on top. I know everyone's trying to engineer stuff to fit like a glove, but the reality of it is, I mean, as long as you put some traction bars on the top or maybe integrate some rubber into it, something that just keeps things from sliding, you'll be just fine. Uh, all these little, you know, pegs and stuff like that, I don't think are needed. I think that's where it definitely is over-engineered and you don't need that kind of stuff on it. But seems to work well. It'll be sitting out here, getting beaten up by South Texas sun and UV, so we'll see how it holds up. Pretty sure it's gonna do just fine. Anyways, again, I'll put a link to this in the video. This is certainly something that might work with your trailer. I'm sure they're gonna have variations of it, different designs of it to accomplish different things. I do like the fact that it's made in the US. I do like the fact that it's 100% recycled, and I do like the fact that it seems super, super tough and sturdy, and I certainly don't think it's gonna crack under normal use. I don't like the compatibility issues you could potentially have if you have a trailer like this, if you have you know, a fifth wheel and you wanna put your leveling pad on. It would make sense just to have one skew, right? Develop one of these that's just maybe round or rectangle, has a surface area, has it flat, has it ribbed, just so it has the ability to keep things from moving around. I think that would probably make more sense as opposed to having separate skews. So, you know, plus if you sell the RV you have, you'd then be able to use it with your new RV. But, you know, it is what it is. It's pretty cool. Ox blocks, I'll put a link in the description. I'm also gonna put a link to their YouTube video because it is fun to watch. So guys, definitely take a look at that. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.